visit your parents before, is it? Where did they come from? And where did they come from? So you, you, you know, should be very thankful to your parents. God decided to come to Mary. So if Mary had not given birth to Jesus, would Jesus have come and saved us? They were very sad because they were Hebrews and and maybe she wasn't going to be born. And they didn't get angry, they didn't condemn anybody, they still prayed, they still had faith. It was just a year younger than Juliana. She left her parents and went to the temple. Other women that served the temple in that temple, in that holy place, just like running to church because of the joy of being there with God and being there with the priests. And that's a symbol that he's a messenger. He is bringing a message from God, from heaven. He's coming down to earth. Celebrating today, St. Seraphima, the Virgin. Peter. Peter. And we're all uh, children of God, and we're all Orthodox Christians, like Father John said. That makes us very special. We're very special in that way. Because we believe the Orthodox way. That's the true way that God has given us from the very beginning. She got warts, but she got better. She got a prescription, it was fine, you know. But what that taught me at that time is that I uh, I needed to be happy to be a frog, you know? Really? Have you ever heard of the... The Day of Cocos? Yeah. You know how God chose her out of all the people in the whole world? The story that I read in the Gospel, the reason that he chose her to be his mom. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. She was closer to him than anybody. Really? Yeah, than anybody. And you know how one of the ways she did that? No. She was grateful for everything. Everything? Everything. She was grateful for everything. Everything that happened to her, she was grateful. Well, I bet she didn't have a big nose. Well, no, she had a very small nose. But that's not the point. The point is, she was grateful for everything that God gave her, everything. And because of that, he was close to her and became her son. And I've been praying about being grateful for my words, and it's made me happier. Uh, I think I, I prayed for the princess when she got warts, and you know that that made her happier. Uh -huh. So I'd like you to take this. Oh, yeah. Thanks. And so I think that you should pray to the Mother of God and ask her to help you be grateful for your nose. Wow. You, did you use your nose to save my life? Yeah. yeah. You did. Wow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, great. Oh, it is great. I'll just be grateful over yeah. here. Yeah. But not the oh, Just keep it easy, right? Yeah. Oh, so just so happy. You know, I bet that happened because the mother of God answered your prayer. No, I'm so happy. Well, good. So I think you can be grateful like the mother of God. Then you know we end up being happier and helping people. You know. Amen. Amen. Why was Longfellow upset? How do you know? Well, I mean, I I didn't know who the frog was, but I know Longfellow. He and our Facebook friends. Because he was never. Is there anything that's ever happened in your life that's made you unhappy? Yeah. You. Right? You know, something you would you don't like about your life. Me. But Longfellow had a really big nose. You'll see that I have a really big nose too, you see. Why? I why I put her nose so she would find him. He asked the mother of God that he would be grateful for his big long nose. The thing that he hated. That he'd be grateful for this thing that he hated. Right? Because it's what God gave him. And so the elephant prayed to the Mother of God that he would be grateful for his nose. And what happened? 
He asked the mother of God, make me grateful for my big horrible nose. And something bad happened right after that. If we can be grateful for everything, if we ask God and the mother of God to be grateful for everything, then we might see blessings that we didn't see before.